the world is getting hotter, especially this time of the year, and we're dealing more and more with heat stroke. To learn more about it, we are here at Sunny View Wet Care with Dr. Sami to shed some light. So Dr. Sami, what is heat stroke? Heat stroke is when the body of your pet reaches an elevation of at least 103. When we reach 104 to 109 Fahrenheit, we are in very, very serious danger zone. Just note that dogs are unable or pets are unable to get rid of their heat by paws like us. They're unable to do that. So they do that by excessive panting. So that's one of the signs you can see where your pet can be maybe in heat stress. So Dr. Sami, how do dog owners know that their dog has a heat stroke? It starts with excessive panting. So you see your, your dog breathing very heavily, tongue is out, and we're panting very, very fast and rapid. With this, you get deoxygenated blood. So your gums start to get either blue or purple. Even your tongue can have an abnormal color. And then your dog may seem disoriented or even have something called a seizure, which is very, very detrimental to your pet. What causes heat stroke? An elevation in temperature can cause heat stroke. So if you are taking a quick errand and you have your pet in the car and there's even with AC on being at a cool level and it's having extended period of time, your pet's temperature can be elevated very quickly. Going out to exercise your dog in a dog park or in a savanna or grassy area just for exercise, it can also elevate your dog's temperature. One thing to note is putting your hand on the road to check the temperature to see if it is cool enough for your pet to walk on. Another way that your pet's temperature can be elevated is if you're blow drying for too long of a time, your pet can have an increase in elevation as well as being left in the yard without excessive shade or any shelter at any point in time. What can a dog owner do if they recognize, okay, my dog is undergoing heat stress? and may have a heat stroke, what are some of the things that the dog owner can do while they're on the way to, to a veterinarian? The first thing that you want to do is to remove your pet from the environment in which the temperature has elevated. So if you're exercising, definitely get into the car, put on the AC, and you want to use cool, not cold water to place on your paws, your underarms, your stomach, your head even just to slowly bring that temperature back down while you're on your way to us. A couple of things not to do when your pet is undergoing heat stress. Is do not place wet towels onto your pet at that time and do not leave your pet for an extended period of time. Have someone stay with your pet while cooling him or her down while you're making your way to us. Do not attempt to force any water down their throats at this point in time either. So Recently, we've seen an uprise or an increase in the amount of patients that have had heat stress within the past two weeks. One thing to note, brachycephalic dogs, those, are those flat nose dogs, just like our pugs, our Frenchies, they're the ones, our bulldogs as well, they're the ones that are at higher risk for heat stress because they are unable to pant effectively like an, a regular dog would. The prognosis, based on your timing and how elevated your pet temperature is, is from grave to severe. The faster you get to us, the, the faster that you cool your pet down, the better chances that you have. But once you are over 107 Fahrenheit, we don't have good news for you.